Loving pet. Many Ugandans are increasingly falling in love with pets for security and company in their homes. They are also increasingly involved in sports, among others. According to dog experts, the market is growing fast and the Second Dogs Expo brought together breeders, vet doctors and judges who examined and later awarded the best breeders in the country. These dogs were assessed and those that passed the assessment test were entered into the national registry. And later these dogs went into a competition to identify the best dogs in the country and they were declared winners and given the respective trophies. The judge is just observing the overall confirmation. Is the dog running with ease? Is the dog uh, constrained in some way? Uh, and, and so on. So judges train for 20, 30 years to become all breed judges. And the com commitment of Canine Association is to always have an international judge. Now we also want to encourage Ugandans to start learning how to become uh, event judges. Nada Anderson, the chairperson of the Canine Association of Uganda, said the country is now home to 13 pet breeds and for the first time there is a register for dogs. But there is no established breeding program that lines up the genealogy of particular dogs to guard against inbreeding. The program would establish a proper indigenous pedigree of dogs. Essentially, if you have a dog that's imported and it comes with FCI pedigree, you can look for a dog that also has an FCI pedigree and you can breed them and produce puppies whose parentage is known for several generations. But if you have a dog that is of very good quality but without a pedigree, now you can enter that dog in the National Registry and start building the pedigree from there. So the fourth generation of your dog will have a full pedigree. Ranjiv Ruparelia, a member of the association dealing in dog food and pet supplies, said they aim to make Uganda a breeding store for the world's export market. He explains what help they'll be seeking from government. So we're already looking at trying to set up a manufacturing plant and when we do that we're going to go to government immediately to make sure they increase the tax, uh, the tax base for the duties on imported goods so they give us some sort of protectionism uh, on locally manufactured products. Uh, the next thing also is to really get the association to partner up with international associations. For example, uh, we need to register ourselves with Kennel Club because our dog breeders, uh, they should be given a path, a path that shows them how to breed to a certain standard, a minimum standard, so that our dogs that are breeded in Uganda can be exported to places like the UK. Because the UK has a waiting list of eight months for a dog. For now, the Canine Association of Uganda, which started in 2021, aims to join the FCI, the largest canine organization in the world, and increase pet knowledge among Ugandans. Since most of these pure bred dogs originate from uh, the temperate regions and they are brought into the tropics, of course they come into the new uh, environment that is not native to them and th th they succumb quicker than the local indigenous breeds. Of the 13 dog breeds in Uganda, the German Shepherd leads the list of imported varieties. Edward Mohumza, NTV.